question. Are you or someone you love struggling with lupus? It's an unpredictable condition that can affect almost every part of the body. But don't worry, I'm here to help make sense of it all. In this video, I'll explain what lupus is, what causes it, how it impacts the body, and what you can do to effectively manage it. Let's get started. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. Lupus is often misunderstood because it affects each person differently. But understanding how it works can empower you to manage it effectively. So let's dive into what you need to know about lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease, which means your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body. Normally, the immune system protects us from infections, but in lupus, it becomes overactive and starts damaging healthy tissues. There are several types of lupus, but the most common one is systemic lupus erythematosus. Systemic meaning the entire body can be affected. Other types of lupus include cutaneous lupus or skin only lupus, drug induced lupus, which means that it's triggered by certain medications and usually goes away when the drug is stopped, and neonatal lupus, a rare condition affecting newborns whose mothers happen to have lupus as well. Today, we'll focus mainly on systemic lupus since it's the most common type and the one that affects multiple organs. So what causes lupus? We don't know the exact cause of lupus, but research shows that it's a combination of genetics, hormones, and environmental factors. In terms of genetics, if you have a family member with an autoimmune disease, your risk is slightly higher as well. In terms of hormones, lupus affects women much more than men. In fact, a nine to one ratio especially during the reproductive years. This suggests that estrogen plays a role. Environmental triggers are key as well. Things like infections, UV light, stress, and even certain medications can trigger lupus symptoms. Lupus can affect nearly every system in the body. Let's go through them one by one. Skin and hair. The butterfly rash or malar rash is a red rash across the nose and cheeks. Photosensitivity, meaning the skin reacts badly to sun, sunlight, is another classic finding in lupus. Hair thinning or hair loss can also occur. There are other types of skin rashes that can occur in lupus as well. The above mentioned ones are the most common ones. Joints and muscles can also be affected. Arthritis like joint pain and stiffness, muscle pain and weakness, swollen joints including fingers, wrists, and knees can also occur. The kidneys can also be inflamed. That's called lupus nephritis. That can lead to swelling in the legs and feet due to kidney inflammation. It can also lead to high blood pressure. And also protein in the urine is a typical classic sign of kidney damage as well. The heart and lungs can also be affected. Chest pain due to inflammation around the heart is called pericarditis. Shortness of breath from inflammation around or in the lungs is called pleuritis. The brain and nervous system can also be affected. Brain fog is a classic symptom. Trouble with memory and concentration can occur from that. Headaches and dizziness can occur, and mood changes, anxiety, and depression. There are also effects on the blood and immune system. Lupus can lead to anemia, where you have low red blood cells, leading to fatigue and shortness of breath. It can also increase the risk of blood clots in some people. Paradoxically, it can also lower platelets in some people, leading to a higher risk of bleeding. And frequent infections due to a weakened immune system or low white blood cell count can also occur. Because lupus affects so many organs, each person's experience can be unique. No two cases of lupus are exactly the same. It's your rheumatologist's responsibility to tailor a treatment plan that fits your particular situation. There are some common misconceptions about lupus. To start with, is lupus contagious? Absolutely not, that is false. 
You cannot catch lupus from someone else, like an infectious disease. Also, is lupus just a skin disease? Absolutely not. That's false as well. Lupus can affect internal organs also. And is lupus always severe? Again, not correct. Lupus symptoms and disease activity range from mild to much more severe and everything in between. Also keep in mind that most people with lupus with treatment will lead normal lives with proper medication and management by their rheumatologist. Lupus can be tricky to diagnose because it mimics other diseases. So your rheumatologist will use a combination of a few different variables. Your medical history, looking at your symptoms over time. Physical examination, looking for signs for inflammation, whether that's skin rashes, joint inflammation, any signs of heart or lung inflammation, very key to have a good physical examination. Blood tests are also important. Is your ANA test positive, the anti-nuclear antibody? It's a screening test for lupus. If positive, your physician will likely then check more specific antibodies to narrow in on a diagnosis. Other blood tests that are important are to check your kidney level, your liver tests, as well as your blood cell counts to make sure you're not anemic, low platelets, or low white blood cell count. Urine tests are also important to help check for any kidney inflammation issues. And lastly, on occasion, imaging tests may be done, including x-rays, MRIs, or ultrasounds, to assess for inflammation in various organs. It's important to understand that there isn't one single test for lupus, but doctors need to put all this information, all these clues together to help make a diagnosis. So how is lupus treated? There's not a cure for lupus at this time, but treatment can help to manage your immune system, control inflammation, improve symptoms, and prevent long-term damage. There are a number of medications that are typically used to treat lupus. Anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs are frequently utilized for joint pain. You should be cautious with those if you have a history of kidney disease, as that may be contraindicated. Hydroxychloroquine or Plaquenil is commonly used, helps with rashes and joint pain, and is thought to actually help to reduce the risk of heart disease in lupus patients as well. Corticosteroids or steroids are used to reduce more severe inflammation and can work very fast and are frequently utilized, but you need to be careful about long-term use due to side effects. It's important that if you are taking steroids or prednisone, that your rheumatologist has a plan to get you off that as well. And then there's immunosuppressants. For moderate to more severe cases that may be affecting the organs, utilizing more chronic immunosuppressants can be life-saving and important part of treating lupus as well. There are some lifestyle changes for managing lupus that can be helpful as well. Managing your stress can be important. Stress can trigger flares, and so anything that helps to manage your stress, meditation, exercise, or anything else that seems to help is important here for managing this condition. Regular exercise to maintain your joint and heart health is key. A balanced diet. Anti-inflammatory foods like fruits, veggies, and omega-3s are key. Sun protection sunscreen and protective clothing, and in some cases, even minimizing being out in the sun is important as well in lupus because the sun can cause flares of your condition as well. The key takeaway here is a personalized treatment plan is key to living well with lupus. Lupus is a complex disease, but knowledge is power. By understanding how it works and making the right lifestyle changes, people with lupus can live full and active lives. If you or someone you love has lupus, don't hesitate to seek medical advice and find a treatment plan that works for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more expert advice on autoimmune conditions and musculoskeletal health. You can also visit our website at chicagoarthritis.com to learn more or schedule an appointment. Stay informed, take control of your health, and always live well.